Recently, notice was sent out by Tucson Electric Power, or TEP, that new and higher rates on power are on the table, starting in fall of 2023. As Tucson grows, the need for additional infrastructure and power generation will be crucial in the old Pueblo's sustained growth. Why are rates going up? Where will the money go from the proposed rate increases? What can we do moving forward to help ourselves minimize the financial impact on our households? And overall, how much more will our power bill be? Hey everyone, it's Kimberly, your go-to real estate agent in Tucson, Arizona, and today we are talking about some things that you need to know about the proposed rate increases by TEP that may take effect in September 2023. If you have a tip for saving energy in this hot, dry desert, throw it down in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and all the other buttons to follow along with Tucson News and learn more about things to do and see and know about this city, my hometown. And when you're ready to buy or sell a Tucson home, you know how to find me. All my contact information is in the description below each video on this channel. And please check out other videos on this channel after this one. We have over 100 videos out about Tucson and real estate on this channel. So first off, Tucson is growing in population. Over the last three years, Tucson has added over 14 thousand new homes with an increase of energy demand of 5.7 percent. In over just the last 10 years, Tucson has grown by over 14 percent. TEP currently serves over 430,000 customers in Tucson. With an average of 2.4 people per household, that serves all Tucson residents. When you have an electrical grid and power generation needs expanding with the population, you need more infrastructure. There is a continuous need to update and expand the power grid for reliability and most importantly, safety. Tucson Electric Power must also hire more skilled workers to do work to accomplish a reliable power infrastructure for the community. How much is this going to affect our power bill? We'll stick around to the end of the video to see the full breakdown. With the current state of the US economy, Prices are going up on everything, from fuel to labor, and of course, real estate. Directly impacting TEP are prices for new equipment, construction material, and parts. High inflation is here, and it affects everything eventually. That means TEP needs to keep up with the changing world, and rates for customers, unfortunately, will probably go up. Inflation is currently at its highest since 1990. It's impossible to say whether or not inflation is here to stay. But when a currency is devalued substantially, like it has been recently, TEP has to respond to increasing costs and act strategically. The costs of Tucson's power are based on 2018 dollars. As the prices of commodities skyrocket with inflation, the cost to produce the energy is increasing as well. What commodities are used to create some of Tucson's power? Well, mainly coal and natural gas. Let's take a look at the price of coal. It has increased over 200% over the last year. Why am I bringing up coal? Well, a large portion of our energy has traditionally come from fossil fuels, but now it's starting to shift. In 2019, we were still at 78% of Tucson's power being generated by burning fossil fuels. When you factor in natural gas with 22% coming from renewable sources and other, the numbers are not yet reflected in updated statistics, but it's been reported that Tucson has already ramped down coal production, and we are now approaching 30% from renewable sources just in a few years. While we currently rely heavily on fossil fuels, TEP plans to change this by year 2032. According to a Tucson.com article, TEP plans on eliminating coal as a source of generating electricity by 2032 and replacing it with with renewable forms of energy. The goal is that over 70% of Tucson's energy will come from renewable sources by the year 2035. The infrastructure and investment in new forms of renewable energy for Tucson is incredibly important to TEP's plan for a sustainable energy future. Through renewable energy sources, Tucson Electric Power plans on reducing Tucson's carbon emissions by 80% by the year 2035. 
One renewable energy source is the Oso Grande Wind Farm located in southeastern New Mexico. The wind farm is expected to create enough electricity to power 100,000 homes annually. And TEP also purchases energy from another wind farm located in western New Mexico, the Borderland Wind Project. This smaller operation provides enough energy to serve 26,000 households annually. And don't forget what we have a lot of here in Tucson, sunlight. That's where the Wilmot Energy Center comes in. Located in Southeast Tucson, the Wilmot Energy Center features 314,000 solar panels. These panels are able to track the sun to maximize the capture of the sun's rays. The center also houses the largest battery storage system on TEP's grid. These sites are just the beginning of what Tucson Electric Power is planning on doing. There's a planned addition of energy storage capacity in the year 2030. TEP is also investing in bolstering the strength of the local energy grid. How are they going to do this? There are four ways in which Tucson Electric Power is going to create a more resilient and improved grid. Line upgrades. Through pole replacements, antiquated line replacements, and upgraded conductors, TEP will be able to increase capacity, resiliency, and resistance to natural forces that can damage the grid. New feeder installments. Feeder lines basically supply power from substations to homes. Substations basically change voltage and have control equipment that helps supply safe amounts of energy to our homes. More feeder lines will give TEP better workarounds when a storm or other unforeseen event impacts power distribution. Voltage conversions. By increasing the voltage of equipment through modifications or replacement, TEP would be able to restore power more quickly if there happens to be an outage. Replacing breakers and transformers at substations. Here, Tucson Electric Power will be replacing aged equipment with more robust and modern equipment to ensure greater flexibility and reliability within the grid in the event of an outage. The plan to reduce carbon emissions through lower use of fossil fuels, increased production of energy that is much cleaner and renewable, and strengthening our energy grid is commendable. But at what cost? And what can we do about it? The rates are going to increase by 11.7% in September of 2023 if the Arizona Corporation Commission gives approval. When you consider the average household in Tucson spends about $182 per month for energy, totaling $2,188 per year, that's an average rate increase of about $256 per year. Some people might say that's not too bad, I guess, but consider that over the next 10 years, that's over $2,500 extra that you're spending on energy. TEP offers many tips and suggestions that we can employ to save energy and reduce our consumption and pressure on the grid. Things such as using fans to feel cooler in the hotter months while increasing the temperature on your thermostat so the AC doesn't run as much. You can also wash your clothes in lukewarm or cold water as opposed to hot water. Most of the energy used when washing clothes is to heat the water, if you can believe that. Make sure your house is properly sealed, upgrade your light bulbs, take shorter showers, and plant some good old-fashioned shade trees to help reduce your energy bills. Maintaining your HVAC system in tip-top shape can decrease your energy usage as well. Many people are also choosing to install solar panels and battery backup systems to have a more reliable energy source that they have ownership in. Solar can be pricey, but the modern systems usually pay for themselves after an average of eight to 12 years, according to the experts at EcoWatch. This channel will have many other videos coming up in the future about solar panels, so make sure you're subscribing to follow along with all of that content. There are many more strategies you can use that are listed on TEP's website and the link to their website will be in the video description below. I hope you've learned a little bit about what Tucson Electric Power is planning on doing to help build a more sustainable future and why our energy rates are probably going to increase. If you have any great energy saving tips that you're proud of, please throw them down in the comment section below. Always very helpful to have that in this hot, dry desert. If you're interested in buying or selling a home in Tucson, give me a call. I'd love to help you out. All my contact information is in the description below each video on this channel. Channel, and there are tons of other videos on the channel about things to do and see in my hometown. So don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out the door. I appreciate you hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next Tucson video.